Okay, just what great, just what the world needs, another implicit differentiation example. So we're ramping up. This is the second in the series. I'm probably going to do three or four of these. But second in the series of complexity, it's, it's just a little bit more complex than the last one I did. And uh, we won't go into as much of the detail of it. We'll just jump right into the example. And so in this case, we're going to go ahead and just derive both sides right away. So I'm going to find the derivative. Oh, nice. Got the, got the highlighter on. We'll change that back. So we've got the derivative of this side with respect to x and the derivative of the 4 with respect to x. So I'm just derivating both sides of the equation. What's really nice is the derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0. So that right side is 0. I'll switch colors so we kind of have some contrast going on. And then I can, since this is addition, I can just go ahead and derivate both separately. So derivative of x squared with respect to x, great. We can do that one with the power rule. Plus the derivative of 4y squared with respect to x. Uh-oh, that one's going to be a problem. We're going to have to use the chain rule there. So this one, just simplifying quick, would be you know, the power rule would be 2x to the first power plus, now this one we've got to use the chain rule. And uh, really, I'll just put it up really fast. And really quickly, the chain rule is, you know, we're, der we're deriving some function y. It could be f, it could be any letter you want right here with respect to x. And it equals d u with respect to x and dy with respect to du. And, and if this was your function, let's, let's call it f instead of y, um, you know, you would, you would, if you wanted the derivative of f, the function f with respect to x, what you'd have to do is split that up and you'd have to put, you know, set this middle part, you got a function within a function, you know, x minus 1 and, uh, and so y would be um, um, u squared, excuse me, kind of got tongue-tied there for a second. And so y equals u squared, So, and you just find the derivative of both of those and plug it into the chain rule. I mean, that's, that's kind of the, the original idea of the chain rule um, from the way it's taught. Um, now, what we're going to do with it, again, this could be f, this could be anything, but I'm going to just rearrange just a, a little bit of it so that we could represent, we can derivate that u with respect to u. And then the dy would be then with respect to x. So in other words, if we just go ahead and swap these two out using the commutative property, uh, change the order of that thing, now we have, we can derivate whatever we put, whatever this u is, with respect to that variable. And so now let's head back to our to our problem. And we can go ahead and then um, derivate, derivate this thing. So this thing would be instead of, you know, we'd have the derivative of 4y squared with respect to y, you know, I'm just using the y instead of u, times some derivative of your function with respect to x or the derivative of y with respect to x. And so we've got this thing ready to go. Um, what we'll do then, our next step will be to derive that part. Okay, and so if we do that, I'll go to red. So this 2x, we're going to stay the same. Now, the derivative of 4y squared with respect to y would be 8y to the first power times dy dx. And we're after the derivative, so we're going to solve for this dy dx. We're going we're to get that by itself. So in order to do that, we're going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. And you're left with then 
8y times dy dx equals negative 2x. Okay, and then you just divide. Oh, let's get a different color going. Then you can just go ahead and divide by 8y on both sides because this is multiplication here. And do a little simplification. And dy dx, or our derivative of y with respect to x, is just negative 2x over 8y, which um, in turn would be, if you take a 2 out, would be negative x over 4y. So this is our derivative with respect to x, negative x over 4y. So let's take a look at this thing, our original function. So maybe you lost track of what our original function was. And so we'll go back here. I don't know if we can go back. Yeah, go back to the top. And it's this x squared plus 4y squared equals 4. And I have it graphed. It's this ellipse right here. Very nice. And so... Let's just pick a point on that thing. Well, here's a, which is the square root of 2 over negative 1 over the square root of 2. And so let's find the slope of that thing with our function. So, so let's go over here and do this. And so let me pull it down. So there's our function. And we're ready to go with the with the derivative of this thing, with our point, and our point, whoops, and our point is the root of 2, comma, one, negative 1 divided by the root of 2. Um, and so let's plug that thing in. So if you plug that in, your x is the root of 2, so you'd have negative root 2. So I'm just putting this right here, and I'm putting this negative uh, 1 over root 2 in place of the y, so it'd be 4 times negative 1 over the root of 2. And we'll do some multiplication with that, so it'd be negative root 2 over negative 4 over root 2. you got a complex fraction going on here. I'm going to put this over 1 so that I can flip and multiply or uh, reciprocate and multiply, however you learn to do it. So negative root 2 over 1 times negative root 2 over 4. And that would give you negative root 4 over 4. It would be positive, excuse me, because there's two negatives. And that reduces to 2 over 4, which is 1 half. So that is my slope at that function. And here's what's cool. So let's find the tangent line. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And you're probably not used to plugging in uh, irrational numbers, but we can go ahead and do that. So it'd be y minus uh, a negative 1 over the root of 2 equals our slope of our tangent line, and x minus our square root of 2. And so we're going to have to simplify that thing now um, so we can plug it into our function. And so this would be, whoops. And so this would be y plus, and I'm going to simplify that. It'd be root 2 over 2. Um, if you need to see that, you know, just, I don't know, look up how to rationalize, a, um, how to rationalize um, a radical. Um, and then distribute the half through, excuse me. So instead of, let me get rid of that parenthesis. We don't need it yet. Yeah, anymore. So that'd be 1 half x if I distribute it minus root 2 over 2. Then you would subtract this root 2 over 2. Subtract root 2 over 2. And you're left with the function in slope intercept form y equals 1 half x minus 2 root 2 over 2's. These cancel out. And finally we're there. 1 half x minus root 2. So there's, your, there's my equation of our um, tangent line. And let's look at, take a look at that in GeoGebra. And so here's my point, root 2, negative 1 over root 2. And there's that tangent line. 
and the slope of that tangent line kind of nice to zoom in so you can see it and there you have it so that is that is implicit differentiation and we even found a point on the ellipse the x squared plus 4y squared equals 4 we found a point where we could get the slope and the tangent line so I hope this helps, and see you next time.